Hi everybody. Today's my first attempt to try and dip plates into nail polish. I've watched a couple videos, but you know, when it's your first time you never know what's going to happen. So I am going to start off by taking some rubbing alcohol and wiping down my item. Well, you know, I got this bowl at a store called Family Dollar, which I think is owned by Dollar Tree. And it's got a label on the bottom, but actually that will be glued to a different surface when I'm all said and done. So I'm just going to leave that there. But we want to get all remnants of anything off the plates and bowl. There we go. I may even wipe it down with a paper towel after. And it generally dries fairly soon, but I'm gonna give it a, give it some help. Dry paper towel over the surface. Yeah, I thought it would have dried faster than that, but you can still see it on here. The next thing I've learned is that you need room temperature water. I need something deep to dip in, something that I don't care to keep. So I've had water sitting out overnight. And by the looks of it, I'm gonna need some more. Okay, I'm back with some more water, which I just poured from the tap, and the temperature I received was 70 degrees, so that's pretty close to room temperature here. Got something floating around, I don't know exactly what that is. Ready to go? Alright, so I have my water prepared. Very close to room temperature. I've got my items cleaned, so it's time to put some nail polish in. And I'm choosing colors of pink and red. Uh, some people have tried it with Dollar Tree nail polish and they said it was not as good as more expensive nail polish. So I'm gonna start with OPI and maybe add the Dollar Tree nail polish after. You have to Get low to the surface and pour it in slowly. If you drop it from too high, it settles to the bottom from what I've been told or what I've seen. Okay. Some OPI pink. Actually, I'm not sure of the actual color name, but why does that look like it's clear? And I'm going to try some nail polish from the Dollar Tree. this will spread. Well, that doesn't look too bad. I'm gonna add a little bit more red.
So I think my cell is well ventilated because it is quite strong. Okay, now I'm going to go for another shade of pink. See if it looks clear again. Okay. Now people use toothpicks, but I said I chose to use popsicle stick, and I'm just going to place it. Oh, maybe this is why. I don't know. I thought that would mix a little better. Oh, it's coming around. First color's a little bit congealing, and that was one of the more expensive colors. Okay, that's fine. We're going to go with what we've got here. I'm going to start with one end. inside the polish and your guess is as good as mine is how it's going to come out to me that's not too bad what do you think the whole idea of the what I'm going to make is going to place this bowl right in the center I don't know if I can reapply right now but we're going to give it a try As soon as I figure out a way to spin it over. Yeah. Some more color. I've got that chunk that I don't want, so we're gonna remove that. I'm sure with some nail polish remover that'll come right off. Okay, a little bit clumpy in areas, but that's that polish that I used right at the beginning. I'll be back. I gotta go set this on a piece of nice paper for it to dry. Now that I put the dish aside, I'm gonna try to pick up some of the residue from the earlier polish out of the water and attempt to do the bowl. up fairly well on my popsicle stick. Look at that. Yeah, so it looks like I could change colors even though I want to do pink and red again. I could change to a different color I think quite easily if I wanted to. All right, so now I knew, let's see, one of these reds was the culprit. So let's do pink.
I honestly don't know which color red made it bleed, but, oh no, not bleed, but congeal. So I'm going to start with this one out here. I believe when I stirred it is when it became a problem. So I'm not going to stir it this time. My whole point is I'd like to get the bowl on the outer edge and somewhat in the middle. So I'm going to start with just placing an end like this and rolling and rolling. Ready to find out what that looks like? <laughs> that is awesome. Now, how do I do this side? Replace my fingers. And roll on this one. Ta-da! Off to go dry in a safe place. You've seen me do a plate and a bowl, and this is my last piece for the day. I'm going to try to see if this will work this time. That red just doesn't seem to be as cooperative as I'd like it to be. We'll see. When all these three pieces dry, I will then take a clear coat of matte finished spray paint and spray all three pieces. Once the three pieces are done, I'm going to create something I've made before for the garden. And hopefully, It'll come out just the way I'd like it to. So far, so good. Let's see how this does. This is a, this once held a candle. So it's been washed and I rubbed it over with rubbing alcohol and dried it. It's quite thick, looks kind of bulky, but I'm just going to let it dry. And for what I need to do with it, it's going to be fine. It really will. I'll let it dry, spray it with a clear coat matte finish, and then I'm going to make my garden project.